What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. So this is a bit of a part two to last week's video trying to shoot real ammo out of a flare gun. If you haven't seen it, uh, go check it out. Long story short, at the end of the video, I tried to shoot a 50 cal out of a plastic flare gun and the hammer was not strong enough to, you know, punch that primer and ignite the 50 cal. So I took it out, screwed it to a two by four and shot it with a pellet gun and it did ignite. Whoa! But it wasn't exactly the result I was hoping for. So either the pellet blew through the primer or when it popped, it shot out the back, which allowed the entire powder charge to escape out of the giant hole that was now in the back of the cartridge. And the bullet did not eject from the shell casing like I wanted it to. So today we're gonna revisit this and try to shoot a 50 cal primer with a few different guns, a couple different calibers, and see if we can actually get the result I'm looking for. This is some redneck science if I've ever seen it. Now, just to be clear, shooting primers is not an original idea. This has been done on YouTube before. Before. I think Full Mag was a channel that I saw do it years ago. Of course, Demolition Ranch has also made videos uh, shooting primers in the past, and I never intended on making this video until what happened last week, and I thought, I need to expand on that a little bit and try it some more because I was instantly hooked. So we're going to attempt to eject this 50 cal bullet from the shell casing simply by shooting the primer. All right guys, so what happened with the pellet gun the other day was a couple different things. Number one, it's a 17 caliber pellet, which is smaller than the primer on a 50 BMG. And on top of that, it was too powerful. So it blew right through the primer and created a hole in the back of the shell casing, which obviously allowed all that pressure to escape out of the back. So today, the first one we're gonna try is a BB gun, which is the same size, but obviously way less powerful than the pellet rifle is. So here's our setup. I've got the Beretta M9 BB pistol screwed into the saw horse with our 50 BMG literally almost touching the barrel. So we're gonna remove the human error this time so it doesn't take quite as long and hopefully we can hit that primer on the very first shot. So I'm hoping since the BB gun isn't as powerful it will just punch the primer like a firing pin would and not blow all the way through it. And just in case this actually works, which I highly doubt, I did put a watermelon right in front of our 50 cal. All right, here we go. Now on that one, we might've actually got it to fire. Well, this is insane. So I'm editing this video and I just noticed something pretty cool that I did not see when I was out there filming. So when our BB hits the 50 cal primer, it sits there and burns for a few seconds before it goes off. But if you look closely, you can actually see what I believe is the primer from our 50 cal shoot back into the barrel of the BB gun and it gets stuck there for a few seconds. You can even kind of see it sticking out of the end of the barrel there and it eventually comes back out almost like the heat from the 50 cal was pulling it back out of the barrel. I don't know if that's how that works, but either way, it did eventually come back out and it could be a coincidence, but literally right at the exact time that primer shoots out of the BB gun is when our 50 cal goes off. So I'm wondering if the primer shot back into the hole that it came from, plugged the cartridge, and that's what gave it the pressure it needed to eventually go off. I don't know, I guess it doesn't really matter, um, but pretty cool either way. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Go figure, our super slow-mo camera did not capture that because it was kind of a delayed reaction, but our other slow-mo camera did. So hopefully we still got some footage and that was a much cooler result than we got with the pellet gun. So here it is. Surprisingly, the BB gun is not really damaged, which is a good thing. And obviously our 50 cal shell casing is completely split in half. So it just grenaded that thing and our primer is gone so it's hard telling if the bb went all the way through and punched it out or if when the you know powder charge went off if it blew the primer out of the back but either way it split the shell casing and it did launch our bullet into the watermelon and you can see i assume that's the entrance hole since it's kind of in a keyhole shape and then this is probably 
the exit hole. Now, I wasn't wearing ear pro for that, not on purpose, I just forgot to put them on, and that did not sound very loud at all. So it probably didn't launch it out of there too fast, but I really want to find that bullet, which I have a feeling is going to be dang near impossible. And after about 20 minutes of searching, I think I might have found something. I haven't moved that stick yet, because I wanted you guys to see it with me, but that has to be our 50 cal bullet, and you can see the back end of it there. Yep, there it is. <laughs> wow, that is incredible it's still warm even after 15 or 20 minutes and you can see that's where the tracer charge is at on these 50 cal tracers i wonder if you could see that on camera but there it is cool so it wasn't even going fast enough to bury itself into the dirt but either way we got a successful launch that's awesome all right guys now we're going to try the 22 caliber pellet rifle obviously a bigger pellet and going a little bit slower unfortunately i'm going to have to shoot this one offhand so it might take me a few tries but let's see if we get a better result so this is going to be kind of a stretch on the imagination but bear with me what i'm hoping will happen best case scenario is since these 22 caliber pellets are bigger in diameter they fit perfectly in the hole of a 50 cal primer and they're also pretty soft so what i'm hoping will happen but is very unlikely is when that pellet hits the primer it plugs the hole not allowing anything to escape out of the back and launches our bullet forward i know it sounds crazy but we're going to try it and see if we can make a miracle happen Got a little frag off of that one, boys. <laughs> and that's why I was hiding behind the tree for all the others, because that shell casing shot straight back that way. Um, we did get some slow-mo of it, but I'm not even sure if I have anything to show you guys because I don't know where the bullet went and the shell casing is long gone. But I did learn something and that is my little attachment here isn't good enough. So from now on, I'm going to drill a piece of wood behind the 50 cal just under the primer so that it can't shoot out the back like that. And we'll try a couple more. And by the way, I think I just found our bullet. There it is, covered in dirt obviously but it did in fact fire. All right guys, now we're gonna try the 22 long rifle. Obviously a little more powerful than the 22 caliber pellet gun, but the exact same size projectile. So my goal is to get an almost instantaneous primer strike and ignition of the powder. I don't know if that's possible, but we're gonna try. And by the way, I screwed a two by four behind the 50 cal this time so it can't shoot backwards. Always wanna be safe. That's what I wanted right there. Well, I would say that is about as instantaneous as you're ever gonna get shooting a 50 cal primer with a 22 long rifle. Every other gun we shot had a delayed charge to the powder, like it took a few seconds for it to finally go, whereas that was dang near instant. And once again, our shell casing did not stay on the two x four, but this time it shot straight to the side instead of directly back. I tell you what, this is really making me want to invest in like a real high speed camera because getting that thing to go is a nightmare. It doesn't work half the time, but I think I see our shell casing way over here on the ground and there she is <laughs> split right in half. And of course there's no primer in the back of the shell casing. So that 22 probably smacked that thing pretty hard. And if the bullet didn't knock it out, I'm sure the explosion did. Again, it would be great to have a real high speed camera and we could see all that. But hopefully you guys were able to see a little bit of this on the slow-mo camera. Obviously I haven't inspected it yet, so I'm not sure what the footage looks like. Um, I was gonna go a little bigger and try this with like a nine millimeter, but I don't wanna do anything unsafe. It's definitely one of the sketchier videos I've ever done. Obviously uh, there's a lot of powder in a 50 BMG and I don't wanna be unsafe. But but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I don't know what this proves or what this tells you. Definitely a silly one, uh, but a lot of fun, and I definitely enjoyed it. So I hope you guys did as well. If you did like the video, please let me know in the comments below, guys. As always, hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, 
and I'll see you next time.